Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Right now I know that many of you are investing a great deal of time and effort into your flex hybrid design. During this long time of separation, I wonder if you miss campus as much as I do. It definitely has been a long time since we have had to tackle all of those steps leading up to the CLT. But this summer has been a different type of exercise, hasn't it? Requiring a different type of stamina. You all have definitely stepped up. The CLT and the design team members are energized by the exciting courses that you have created. I hope you feel proud. Some of you are beginning to turn your attention from the overall design of the course and are starting to consider individual modules and activities. In this series, I hope to review the strengths of the Flex Hybrid model and to provide practical pre-semester and early semester tips to ensure that you have a great start. In this first video, I will focus on a few ways to make an early and substantial connection with your students. In your Flex Hybrid course, your students will have all that they need in Canvas to meet the course learning outcomes. In addition, they'll have quality interaction in real time with you, their professor. You will model and mentor students and provide them with significant learning experiences. Also, this model encourages synchronous and asynchronous peer interaction that will challenge students' thinking. Faculty have found that students who learn and process asynchronously prior to the synchronous meeting demonstrate more sophisticated thinking in their writing and their creating. Remember, when designed well, the flex hybrid model with two intentional types of engagement can enhance the clarity of instruction, remove cognitive load, and ready students to move from low level to high levels of critical thinking. With the start of the semester just around the corner, many have told us that they find it hard to imagine how they will move from some of these challenging restrictions um, and start the class in a meaningful way. But honestly, even in uncertain times, the foundation to a positive start is usually the same. Make a strong connection. This semester, making a connection with your students may require some additional intentional steps. Two things that my students have appreciated over the years is a welcome letter or video and a pre-semester survey. In an early communication, you can tell students about your intentions for that first meeting. And let's face it, that first day is going to be a little confusing for everyone, so I strongly recommend that you test out your first day plans in advance so that you can be confident about the technology, the space, you can test out the sound. You'll know the challenges and you can reach out to your students with this letter and explain to them how that first class will go and how they can make the best of the situation. In addition, capitalize on this opportunity to create some excitement or some anticipation. Highlight any exciting opportunities such as special speakers or events that you have planned. Along with a welcome, my students appreciate that I send a pre-course survey. Like an early or a mid-semester survey, I ask students about their preferred learning modalities, any needs that they have. I also ask about their abilities to lead or play a key role in the class. For this semester, I have added questions asking students if they feel comfortable helping out with some of the classroom technology if they would be willing to help manage the chat during a Zoom lesson or to take notes during a synchronous discussion. Feel free to contact me if you'd like a copy of an example of a pre-course survey. Reaching out to students before the first day expresses that you care and that student learning is your top priority. You can continue fostering a community of care through one or more of these seven tips. Invite students to share their names and pronouns. We recommend that you review the DEI training course for best practices. Number two, acknowledge any challenges and opportunities. Listen to student concerns. Manage expectations. Also, cast a clear vision for the class and a roadmap to student success. Plan an activity that promotes a sense of community. 
discuss the upcoming weeks and the regular routine for the class. Provide an activity that's connected to the first module or something in your syllabus. And finally, discuss how students will engage in the class. Explain how they're going to connect with you and each other. In a follow-up video, I will address some of these tips in more detail. Now let's focus on creating a great first day activity. The most powerful first day activities are the ones that are meaningful and have the following characteristics. They're personal and authentic. They're surprising. They're reflective and inspiring. They're cooperative, active, and intentional. Here is the first day activity that works synchronously and asynchronously and provides flexibility and choice. Invite students to use an image to illustrate a significant story about themselves. Why use an image? Humans are visual and the brain loves to make connections. When we make these connections, we move from facts to deeper ideas. Using an illustration will spark creativity and deepen the conversation. You can provide a previously collected set of images from which students can choose, or you could give students keywords related to the course and ask them to search for images and find one that's meaningful to them professionally. Students in class or participating virtually can paste the image and write a brief summary on a shared document, a Google site, or in the discussion area in Canvas. Give them some time to share their stories aloud with another person, a small group, or the class. Students who are more comfortable expressing themselves in writing or wish to take them to their time to be more thoughtful could submit their written or a video story asynchronously. Ask students to view and read submissions and respond to each other's stories throughout the week. You can inspire your students with a surprising story from your own experience. And by the way, if you would like help crafting an inspirational story, reach out to some of your colleagues who are masters at the art of performance and content delivery. I'm sure someone like Joanne Farrell or Carrie Noonan would be happy to help. Other activities you might consider that work well for students engaging asynchronously during the week are these. Use a Canvas discussion and prompt students to enter two truths and a lie about themselves and maybe a question about you or the class. Respond to the questions in the discussion to show that you will be present and available in Canvas during the weeks. You could add a video response to any common questions that were asked or address the questions during the next synchronous meeting. This shows that you intend to be a responsive instructor. I hope these tips about pre-course communication and first day activities were helpful and gave you some ideas for ways to start the semester on a, in a positive way. Next time, I'll talk about expectations, both managing them and setting them. Future topics will include community building, delivering robust learning experiences, and soliciting feedback from your students. If you would like to work together on your early semester activities, please join Betsy Ellen Pennebaker, Leslie Van Wagner, and myself for a webinar and workshop on August 18th at 2 p.m. We will be providing practical tips and how-tos, including how to use technology to connect and create a strong community. Thank you.